Hi everyone, this video is the second part of our video tutorial series on creating a cold calling AI sales agent service. At the end of this video, you will be able to create and run your own AI sales agent service with two-way voice communication ability just like the demo as follows. I'll test it as if I am talking over telephone with an AI sales agent. So let's see. Hi, it's Sam speaking. Hello, Sam. This is Sally from No Together, an AI automation agency. I believe you filled out the contact form on our website. May I confirm if you are the right person to speak to regarding AI automation for your business? Hello, Sam spricht. Hello, Sam. My name is Sally und ich bin ein Key Assistant von No Together. Vielen Dank, dass Sie das Kontaktformular auf unserer Website ausgefüllt haben. Konnten Sie mir mehr über Ihr Unternehmen und den Anwendungsfall vorgegeben, den No Together lösen konnte? In the first part of this series, we have already discussed the technical design of this entire project that we are about to build and also created the code for a local STD or speech to text service using Faster Whisper open source project. And we have also run that STD server locally, and this will be also required to transcribe users' input in a let's say telephonic conversation. So if you have straight landed into this video, please use the link above on your right to see the first part of this video series. So without much further ado, let's dive in into the tutorial. So as next, what we are going to do, we are going to create another file called AI sales agent dot py first we are going to import the faster whisper transcriber so that's what i have done here i'm going to import logging we are going to use grok as part of the AI api service because grok has very minimal latency so we have imported grok then we are going to import a bunch of required modules now let's define a few of the api key now i'm going to hard code it but that's not the proper way to do it you should always use like an env file and use dot env to load it but for the purpose of the demo i'm going to hard code it so we would need 11 slab api key and voice id as part of the text to speech and we would also create the grok client and this is the grok api key so let's first define the main method this is like the controller right where all the logic will be written so what we want to do here is if you think about it how the communication will happen is through the faster transcriber that we have already written here so as part of this we want to first test whether we can use the transcription with ai api and create a response that can further be used with 11 labs api to create a audio response this is what we are going to test here right now right so first what we are going to do is in the faster whisper transcriber class we have initiated the whisper model then i'm going to have a message history let's keep it blank for now so message history is an array where we will keep all the communication between the ai sales agent and the human interaction and then we want to create a while true so that means um, it's like a loop where the interaction will happen back and forth let's use try try and catch block we will do let's add a message here and what we are doing basically we are calling the whispers record audio method that means we can use the space bot to provide the user input so we are saving the audio transcribing the audio and printing the transcript basically and then we are adding the transcript as user input here okay so next what we will do is we will use the grok api to process the user input or user instruction we are going to use the mixtral 8x 7b oh by the way if you want to create the grok api all you have to do is just go to grok cloud and then just create your api key here i have already created the api key you can create it for free and use it for your demo purpose and i'm putting streaming as false because grok is anyway very very fast you can definitely try their grok playground to compare the response time and latency and compare it with other ai service like chat gpt or bird or similar other services okay so now that we have got the chat completion like the ai api response what we want to do is save that response as assistant response and we will add that again as a message history once we have got the assistant response from grok ai api ideally that is what we want to play back to the user through the phone call or the communication channel right so that is where we will basically write the code here which will simulate transforming the assistant response into an audio output and we will use 11 labs for you know getting the audio data here and once that is done what we want to do is we want to simulate that play audio part 
because we are not going to actually send it right now through Twilio API and we are right now we are not integrating with actual phone call right we are just trying to test it locally so we will simulate the play audio part so basically we will just we'll just play the audio output that we would get from 11 labs now to get the audio output from 11 labs with the assistant response we need to create a function so let's create the function so I have pre-written the function before so basically what is happening is this function is is expecting the 11 labs API key which we have defined here it expects the voice ID so you can go to 11 labs go to pre-made voice and you can see different voice name here and their voice ID so you can select any one of them that's not a problem let's use this voice ID which is a Freya so we'll update here the voice ID and the URL is we want text to speech again you can come back to the 11 labs API documentation and you can see a sample request here so we are just using the same approach we are specifying the 11 labs API key and again this these settings are all copied from here and then finally what we are doing we are sending the request.post to 11 labs URL providing the text so the text is nothing but the text that it receives as the argument in this method which will be called from this method with the assistant response which we will see that soon and it will basically return that response now that our text to speech is ready we can write the code here we are calling the text to speech function providing the api key providing the voice id and the assistant response and now once we have got the audio data we can play the audio here but oh we have a miss to create the play audio function so for that what we need to do is we can create the play audio function and this is basically nothing but it's getting the audio data saving it into a temporary file as mp3 and then it's using mpv which is a free open source media player and then passing that temp file play that audio that it is receiving from the 11 labs api now how you can download mpv is you can go to powershell run it as admin you can run choco install mpv make sure you are running as administrator otherwise it won't get installed if you don't want to install it what you can also do is you can download this windows build this is like a portable exe file and you can keep the exe file in the same folder here and that will also help to run it now for me i have already installed the mpv player you know using the choco command so that should be fine Please let me know if you are facing any issues and i will attach all these links in the video description for you to follow sorry for breaking your attention here just wanted to give a shout out to mark roland for being supporter of this channel without even asking for it at the first place so thank you mark really appreciate your gesture as you know creating these videos take a lot of efforts times and also cost to try out different method try out different ai apis and ai tools etc etc so just to support the cost of running this channel and based on my availability, I have created two Patreon membership tier. You can use the below link in the description to go to the Patreon community and check the membership tiers to see what you get out of these tiers. And you can also become a member of our channel. I would really request you to give it a consideration. And with that said, let's proceed with the tutorial. Now we have completed writing the play audio function, which will play the audio as it receives from the 11 labs. Because we have we are doing all this under try, we need to add a accept. So we are just adding an accept. If there's a keyboard interrupt, like we press control C or something, then it will exit. And finally, we'll write our main method, which will call this main method, and then it will run the sales agent and do all this process now one of the important thing that we have missed so far is we haven't yet given the instruction for the assistant or for the grok api so that it responds as a sales agent so for that reason we are going to set the system prompt or the system context in the message history all we are saying here basically is that sales ai agent name is sally sales representative of no together which is an ai automation agency i've also given the no together's product description and then given the instruction how to respond like the response should be short in length it should start by greeting its main outcome is to qualify the prospect customer into an one-to-one -one meeting so there are several stages so based on the stage it should respond and now frankly this system prompt is really inspired from the sales gpt project so i'll attach the link for sales gpt for you to check out as well now our initial ai sales agent is ready to test so we run python ai sales agent uh, it could not find the city server okay i think i'll just remove the dot here and then run it again 
and there you go our ai sales agent is ready with grok ai api so let's test it i'll test it as if i am talking over telephone with an ai sales agent so let's see hi it's sam speaking hello sam this is sally from no together an ai automation agency i believe you filled out the contact form on our website May I confirm if you are the right person to speak to regarding AI automation for your business? I'd love to understand your company's use case for AI. Yeah, I am the right person, the founder of Work Together. Um, I want to implement an AI chatbot for our customer facing website. Hi Sam, it's great to speak with the founder of Work Together. I understand you're interested in implementing an AI chatbot for your customer facing website. At No Together, we offer AI automation solutions that can help streamline your business processes. May I ask, what specific functionalities or features are you looking for in an AI chatbot? This will help me better understand your needs and how our services can assist you. If you have noticed this Python code more closely, then you may have noticed that the entire code is written in a more synchronous manner. And what that means is that this code is really not production ready. Because if you look closely, once let's say this function is being executed, then another call to this function needs to be awaited until the entire code is executed for the first processing, right? That means we can't really do you know parallel calling to let's say multiple potential customers using this code and that's really a drawback the another problem that you may have seen when i was testing is that because the nature of the execution is synchronous although the grok api was really fast still it was taking time for the actual you know text to speech response to be generated and being heard using the mpb player to tackle this problem we have to introduce an asynchronous coding pattern right and for that reason i have created another code and you know what i have used openai api here and still this code is generating response much much faster than this ai sales agent because in this code all of this function is being written in an asynchronous manner now in the world of python the asynchronous programming becomes really really complicated at times if you are really new to the python programming so basically what i am trying to achieve here is is to leverage this ai sales agent to scale as much as needed for my business so that it can call multiple potential customer as and when they fill up their forms on my website let's take a quick look to the changes that i have made into this code so the first thing first i have introduced this asynchronous handle recording which is similar to this definition main function so what we are doing basically here is we are are enabling streaming to true that means we are generating the stream of response rather than waiting for the ai api response to be completed and this is to tackle the problem that i have discussed initially in the first part of the video that as and when your number of token grows ai api tends to become slow and the latency used to become higher and then why, what we would do we would pass in that stream text to speech api which is like 11 labs and generate the voice and also stream the voice it's like a live content right but then there is another problem the problem is and the problem is the 11 labs uh, voice output wouldn't be having proper stops and intonations if we directly send the streaming output from openai's response right so for that reason what what we have done is we have created this text chunker method so what this text chunker does is basically it looks for this kind of pattern for example full stop comma question mark exclamation mark and whenever it gets any of this delimiter in the stream then it accumulates the content as chunk up to this delimiter and then it sends to the 11 labs api and as a result when 11 labs api generate the response it knows that if it's a full stop it generates the indentation right like a full stop if it's a question it generates the voice response as if it's asking a question that's what we have done in the entire code now the other thing that we have done is as well this is the text to speech input streaming we are using wss so if you see here we were making an https call that means we had to wait for the entire 11 labs api response to come and then only the mpv player could actually play the audio output right but here what we are doing is we are creating a web socket connection to you know 11 labs api using the mpb player that means what you would hear is a stream of the audio output that you get from the 11 labs that really helps in making this code more like a real-time communication between the human and the ai agent just to see the performance difference i'm going to run a test and you will be able to see the difference let's test it just like before hi it's sam speaking Hello, Sam. I'm Sally from No Together. I see you filled out a contact form on our website. Can you tell me more about your company and how you're looking to use AI? Hi. Yeah, my company name is Work Together. I am looking to create an AI chatbot for my potential customer. 
And Great as you to hear, can Sam. See, so if you're looking to create an the AI chatbot to support your L1 team, the streaming is happening. Together specializes in AI automation solutions. Would you be interested in discussing how our AI development subscription package can help you achieve this goal? In order to make this AI agent speak into other language like Spanish, German, or etc., what you need to do is just change the system prompt into that specific language, which is what I have done here to test it in German, as you can see. And now let's test this AI agent. Hello, Sam spricht. Hello, Sam. My name is Sally und ich bin ein Key Assistant von Not Together. Vielen Dank, dass Sie das Kontaktformular auf unserer Website ausgefüllt haben. Konnten Sie mir mehr über Ihr Unternehmen und den Anwendungsfall für Key geben, den No Together lösen? That's how it is working with OpenAI API and it's all asynchronous fast. The best part is this code is scalable. That means that means I can call as many times this AI agent to run in parallel and call multiple potential customer at the same time. However, just to help and grow this channel, I have made this asynchronous part of the code behind a very affordable paywall. And I'm really sorry that I had to do that to help support the cost of creating such videos. Alternatively, this code is also available for our Patreon channel supporters and above members. So if you want to join our Patreon community and help support the channel, that would be really great. Thank you for watching the video. And in the next part, what we are going to do is we are going to integrate this AI sales agent with, let's say, and Twilio service so that we can actually make the phone call through this code to a potential customer and try to make this entire journey like an end-to-end -end AI sales agent journey. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.